Take this cup away from me For I don't want to taste its poison Feel it burn me When we start Then I was inspired Now I'm sad and tired Listen, surely I've exceeded Expectations tried for three years Seems like thirty from any other man But if I die See the saga through And do the things you ask of me Let them hate me, hit me, hurt me Nail me to the tree I'd have to know, I'd have to know my lord Have to know, I'd have to know my lord to see, I'd have to see my lord. Have to see, I'd have to see my lord. If I die, what would be my reward? If I die, what would be my reward? Have to know, have to know my lord. Have to know, have to know my lord. Who should I die? Can you show me now? That I would not be killed in vain Show me just a little Of your omnipresent brain All right I'll die Just watch me die See how I didn't start it God, thy will is hard But you hold every card I will drink your careful poison Nail me to your cross Now, before I 
Uh, the, the audience, uh, to, uh, Telly, I, I think it's absolutely amazing voice. Incredible voice, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So, where about you from? Let's find out about you. Exactly. Uh, from Swansea. From Swansea. You're a Welsh uh -huh. boy, are you? Uh-huh. All right. And how old are you now? 25. 25? I feel about 35. Yeah? <laughs> it's hard work. It is. It's not easy. It's not easy. I've done my back in from carrying the cross, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a joke. Well, that's a small it's sacrifice it is. in, small. in it's comparison small. to what happened to the uh, the real man. Yeah. The real man. Mm. All right. So, did you grow the beard and the stuff for the? Well, the hair's been around for a while, but I I grew the beard, yeah, for the part. Right. Okay. So you got a girlfriend? I have, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she coped with all the extra hair. She, she... quite likes actually. Yeah. Does she? Yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that right now. Hey, do I? My mum's up there somewhere. So... Oh, is she? Yeah. Is mum in? She is. Where's mum? She's just there. Hello, mum. Don't embarrass. Her. I won't embarrass her. What, don't you, did you say don't embarrass Yeah, her? don't embarrass Why, is she shy? No, she's very unshy. <laughs> you, mean, you mean don't say anything to your mum, because yeah. she might show you up? <laughs> no, we all worry about mum. She, she must be really proud of him. She is, yeah. You've got to be. Yeah. So what's your ambitions after you've played... You mean, you're, you know, you're the um, lord at the moment. Yeah. You work for a lord. Where'd you go? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Where'd you go it's from the here? lord, Lord Webber. <laughs> of Peckham. Oh. <laughs> he used to be... Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, I've known him quite a while. He used to be... Uh, originally, he was a, lived a, in a flat in Peckham, and, um... <laughs> seriously. And, uh, oh, that's, that's a stage name, Lloyd Webber. He's, uh, he's, he's actually Dave Trotter. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he, uh, he used to have a little reliant, and he... Yeah. He worked down at a place called East Lane Market. And, uh, he, he doesn't admit to it today, you know. I said, I said, Dave! You know, I want to see him at the do's. Yeah. And he, he, he goes, oh, God. I hope he doesn't bring the Peckham thing up, you know? <laughs> that smile hasn't come off your mum's face from the start of the... I know. I'm going to start crying in a minute. She will. Yeah. I will as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what did you do before the break came? I was working with a band back home in South Wales, Phil Berry and Tim Hamill, who I, we still write together and, and write music. So hopefully we'll go on and do that after the show is finished. But uh, I was with the band for, for about two and a half years, three years. And yeah. while I was with the band, um, gigging and, and recording... The lead singer, were you, in the band? Yeah. yeah. We were on, all on the dole. What happened then? How did you get discovered? We? <clears throat> we were in New York last year, a um, year and a half ago, doing a few sort of club things, and um, I called home and found out they were auditioning for the part. I got in touch with a guy I worked with a few years ago, who's subsequently my agent now. And um, he got me an audition after sort of hounding them for, for about three weeks, because being unknown and sort of done nothing really before. Uh, getting the initial audition was, was quite a, a task in itself. Yeah. But then I, I went on, I had ten auditions for the part, and eventually they gave it to me. Yeah. Apparently I was just talking to Simon, the MD over there, and he said uh, that the final audition, they were, they were all closing their eyes, because I look like um, an archetypal uh, view of, of what Christ would have looked like, I suppose. Yeah. So um, when I, and I wore a long shirt, obviously, and, and tried to g g get in on a psychological level um, during the auditions. And um, they were all closing their eyes, um, and, and listening to me sing, so they weren't sort of... Um, Influenced by, by my, well, by the by way my, you look, my aesthetic appearance, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, when 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 you're you're done with this, and whenever that time comes, you mm -hmm. you're gonna go on your own singing. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go solo then. And yeah. So well, you've opened yourself to a much wider yeah, audience, absolutely. and uh, it's fantastic. Thanks for the so opportunity. So you've got lots of fans already, <laughs> and I hope it works out for you. Thank and you. I hope that whatever you wish, you be careful of what you wish for. It just absolutely. might just come true. You've got to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope it really works out for you, and uh, that you actually enjoy. Yeah. All right, Steve Boss Armour.